to learn more about animal disguises, you need your booklet, open to page four, and you also need a pencil. Uh, we will be focusing on the five photographs on these two pages and how by looking at these photographs, we can learn about these animals. Okay, so the first photograph that we are going to look at is on page four. And the caption says, the leaf butterfly relies on camouflage to survive. So we know that this picture right here is actually a butterfly, not a leaf. So by looking at this photo, what do we know about this animal? Think about that for a minute. What do we know about this animal by looking at this photograph? So this photograph is the color of what a leaf would be, right? And it has the same patterns as you would see on a leaf. So because of that, this animal is protected from predators, right? So that is basically what we're going to write. So we'll say the photo shows, and I just started, you know, halfway up the line. If you want to start at the very top, you can also do that. Either way, you're going to write these on page four. So what I wrote was the photo shows how colors, how the colors and patterns protect this animal from predators. If you need to pause the video to continue writing this, go ahead. Otherwise, we're going to keep going. So we're going to write a bunch of different, whoops, things right here. There we go. Okay, so let's look at the walking stick. We know that when you glance at this, it looks like a stick. So if an animal were to see it, it helps it, its shape that it is, helps it blend in and its size too. If you just saw this, you would not think this was an animal. So that's what we're gonna write for the first one. So at the top on page five, we're going to write this insect's shape and size help it blend, actually help it camouflage. Okay, that's it for that one. Now let's look at the next one. How does the polar bear blend in? How does it not be seen by its prey or by the prey? What helps it disguise? Did you say it's white fur? Okay, so skip a couple lines and we're going to say a polar bear's white fur help it blend in while it hunts for food. Helps it blend in while it hunts for food. All right, next one. 
So let's talk about this stonefish predator. So how does he blend in so its prey doesn't see it? It looks like a rock, right? So this fish looks and behaves like a rock because it'll just kind of lay in the sand and it doesn't move. Okay, so we'll write for this one the stone fish looks and behaves like a rock and that's basically it for that one right all right I want you to do the last one on your own the horned lizard so go back to what we highlighted and how does this horned lizard use its maybe its shape its color, its look to blend in. Go ahead and pause the video and do that now. Okay, so you should have talked about the color that it is because it's the same color as like the rocks and the sand and the shape. It has that bumpy skin, so it kind of looks like it's just a rock, right? So you should have written something like the lizard or this, a horned lizard color and shape help it stay hidden from predators. If you didn't write exactly that, you can, um, you can change it to be exactly like mine, but you can also leave it as long as it talks a little bit about the shape and the color. That's what's really important. The shape and the color. All right, that is it for our photographs lesson today. I just want you to remember, especially when you're reading nonfiction or informational text, the pictures and the captions will sm sometimes give you even more information than the actual words. So it's super important to pay attention to those. Great job today, friends. We'll see you later.